What's happening, folks? Back with another Marie Fredrickson reaction. Shout out to those with the patients, as well as to Jeebus, who recently sent me a message inquiring as to when this might come back. And yeah, we're going back to the 1986 album that translates to the seventh wave. And the next tune is For Those in Love, or at least that's what Google Translate tells me. When I first looked at it, it sounds glowing and positive, but I suppose love isn't just bursting forth with excitement and happiness and contentment, but it can also be struggling through the trials and tribulations of love. It can also be putting back the broken pieces of your heart after love has passed you by. So I feel like For Those in Love might be a dedication and a devotion on a more comprehensive level or in a more nuanced way. I look forward to hearing what people have to say about the lyrics. Let's listen. This is Marie Fredrickson for Those in Love from her 1986 album, The Seventh Wave.
I do have to point out, fading while a saxophone is sonorously serenading seems like a serious and uh, salacious crime. I've run out of alliterations, but uh, yeah, people will know I'm a huge fan of the sax, and there's something about 80s sax, I don't know, I've heard tunes in more recent years use a saxophone, but something about the way the saxophone featured in a lot of pop and soul tunes in the 80s, it just found this really magical um, ingredient in so many tracks. So yeah, this is another one where it plays a small role, and mostly in the latter stages of the track, but I think that was a really nice addition. Her vocals are very sweet, it feels like a sad tune, it feels melancholic, so maybe what I was saying at the opening, it's about all that love brings, not just the happy sunshine on your heart, but um, perhaps the cloudy days or even, you know, the storms uh, as well. But, um, yeah, I don't know, that wouldn't surprise me, and also uh, it feels like some of her tunes with Roxette in English speak to those kind of feelings too, so it would not be entirely out of place. Um, and interest. I wonder, the release of this album, was this um, released before or after Pearls of Passion, which I know was also 1986, I wonder the timing. Um, but yeah, uh, I look forward to hearing people comment, because it feels like there had to be some sadness there, given the sonics. Uh, but yeah, a couple moments in particular, she pushed her voice into a higher um, intensity, so I like those moments in particular, uh, those vocal flourishes. And yeah, just a, a heavy, um, emotionally heavy tune. So I look forward to hearing what people have to say about it. Do let me know. I will try to come back for the next Marie reaction, along with the next Roxette reaction, quicker than I did in the previous gap. It's just hard to keep up with everything these days. You uh, start doing so many deep dives, and at first it doesn't occur to you, you know, how much you're doing, and then eventually, through circumstances, it becomes obvious. So. I'm trying to balance everything. Please do bear with me. I appreciate those with the patience. I will be back for more. Let me know what you think of this, and I will see you then. Peace.